Dear readers, last year, during my caucus, I referred to the speech of Theodore Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who actually strives to do the deeds, and who spends himself to a worthy cause. This year, again, we have faced a lockdown, but this year, we were prepared. Our members fearlessly entered the arena and showed they were active citizens. Some of them found ways to provide suit supplies to communities, such as City of Adigy and Safe Haven Shelter. Some used their business networks to reach entrepreneurs facing difficulties. Some delivered trainings even to remote countries. All the while, we continue to support national flagship projects, such as the Outstanding Young Person Award and national initiatives, such as the JCI in Mauritius show. Nothing makes me happier than seeing our members take up those development opportunities. And nothing makes me prouder than seeing those actions have an impact. On behalf of JCI City Plus, I also convey our gratitude to all of our partners, including the frontliners out there. Since the beginning of the year, we have aimed to make JCI City Plus a home for all of its members to grow. Together, we have initiated a number of actions to reinforce our brotherhood and bridge the gap between the more experienced members and the new generation. We have organized game nights, a past president's forum, and launched the new mentorship program. As we continue to work on the growth of our organization, I am privileged to serve both bright and committed members. I wish to thank them, as well as our members, signators and aspiring members for their support and their work. By working as a team and capitalizing on our respective strengths, I know we will rise in synergy. Thank you.